Hello, my name is Special70 and I will be teaching you how to use the premium version of executable items. First, in the video, I will be discussing the basic information that you will be needing to create your own simple items. I will be discussing more of the advanced and complex things later in the video. If you have yet to, to try the free version and already straight bought the premium version to create an, uh, a custom item first you will be needing the ei create command the id will be used for the give command so like ei give test when you're holding something when typing the ei create command it will copy the item that you're holding name material lore enchantment and custom model data okay for this video i will be typing diamond axe for reference okay enter here in this icon i can this is where i can change the material for example i didn't like the diamond axe i want the diamond sword instead but i've already created this executable item so what i will do is i will press this for the item type, you will have to check the ID of that item. For example, the diamond sword. How will I know the ID of the diamond sword? First, I will go to creative mode. In this menu, I have enabled tooltips. I look at it. Look, diamond underscore sword. So I will type diamond underscore sword. See, it will be changed like that. In the name, it will be it will display the custom items name so first I will press this for example I want to name it Excalibur see okay for if I didn't like it or for example accidentally press that icon I can just press the edit button for the plugin to tell me what is the current name of the item so I can just enter to reuse the item's name or just type a new one for example mega sword see that will be the name of the item here in the lore for this demonstration i'll be typing various lore lines for example sword bow here Okay, so you have observed that I have accidentally typoed the bow incorrectly, but I want to edit it. So I, I, what we will do is press this, and then remove the T and press Enter. Look, it's now fixed. What if I want to delete the shield line? I can just press this. Now it's gone. What if I want to put the bow lore? Above the sword, I can just press this. But if I change my mind and I want the bow word to be under the sword word, I can just press this. What if I'm done? I can just press the finish button to finish editing the lore. Now, here is the usage. This is an important option that we will be using for various activators. In the Discord, many people have been confused between this and this. These two are very different, like they are not the same exactly. I will be discussing more about the usage limit option further in the video. Okay, so what you can see here is that it's zero. Here is an information that I will share to you. If you type 0 and save the item, you will not see the lore, but it's actually counted as usage of, usage of 1. But the difference of 0 and 1 is that if you set the usage to 1, you can see it in the lore that the remaining usage is 1. But if you type it 0, it's not going to be displayed there, but the usage is going to be 1. Okay, 
for example, first things first, let's create an activator. Let's press the new activator, and you can see that the default selected activator is player underscore all underscore or click. Here is what's important for the premium version. In the free version, the default value of this is negative 1. And the free version users cannot change this. So, in the, the people in the Discord kept asking, how do I create an item that will be consumed after one use? What you have to do is type negative 1. What negative 1 does is it takes away one usage. Okay, let's save this activator and then let's look back at the item. You can see that the usage is 1. So when we save the item, it will be deleted after one use. Why? When the item's usage is 1 and the activator's usage modification is negative 1, which means that when you activate that activator, it will take away one usage. And once, and because of that, the usage is now zero. When the usage hits zero, the item will disappear. So, how do I make it infinite use? So, go back to the usage icon and type negative one. It will not be displayed that the item's usage is infinite, but it's actually infinite. Okay, let's go back to the item. How do we create or set up commands? You just have to press this. You have to keep in mind that all the commands that are executed by this activator are normally run by console. So if you want to Make it so that the player is the one who's running the command. You have to use sudo and then the command. Hi. This. So when I finish this, so it's like that. Say, look. It's running like it's supposed to. But if I go back to the item and remove it, remove the sudo part. And finish it's gonna say server high which means that in this part I'm the one executing the say command in this part the server itself is running the say command I will be also giving you an information about the sudo op the sudo op is like the sudo command but when this command gets executed for a short period of time you are given admin privileges but you cannot run any commands and then while you are in that op state the plugin will run will force you to run that command and remove the admin privileges from you my advice for you is to only use this command when like you cannot have the console make you run the command like Let's say it's your last resort. Okay, let's finish this. For the cooldown, we can actually set it into seconds. Like so. When you set it like this, we will all... We, the activator will have a 10 second cooldown. But here is something that you have to know once you have the premium version. In the premium version, there is a specific permission that allows you to bypass cooldowns. If you have the this kind of permission, this one, then it's pretty much a problem. So, if you want the cooldown to work even though you're up, you have to go to your config. Now that we are here in the config of executable items, we can see that here, premium enable cooldown for op. You have to enable, like, enable it by typing true. So 
once you've done that save it and then go back to the in-game and type yeah, I reload now with that now the cooldown is now enabled for operators that is all that I have to say about the basic information about the executable items if you have any more questions just go to the discord of executable items and I will be there almost every day